when I get up in the morning, I see about 30 rabbits outside my kitchen window having their breakfast, you know. You never turn your back on the rabbit, especially in central Otago. Once you get to plague proportions, the destruction happens in front of your eyes. It's an absolute ecological disaster. I mean, you know, it's out of control. Kateki Point and Lighthouse is just south of the Moiraki Township. It's a breeding ground for yellow-eyed penguins, New Zealand fur seals and, yes, rabbits. Do you think that we have reached plague proportions? Absolutely. You do? We absolutely have. We're in big trouble. Big trouble. I'm Rosalie from Penguin Rescue and the plague of rabbits here in Meraki is bringing a plague of predators that are threatening the survival of our penguins. The ones that matter for penguins are ferrets, stoats and feral cats. Last year they started killing our penguin chicks and so we had to uplift all of the chicks and bring them in and hand raise them. So the rabbits themselves are not the issue. It's the associated bad guys that follow them around. Now this year we've trapped over 30 ferrets and a ferret will kill an adult yellow-eyed penguin and they have done that in the past. So at the moment the penguins are stuck on land and um, molting and they can't leave. Because? Because they're not waterproof. So they can't go into the ocean. And so they're just sitting there waiting, they're just easy prey. So they're very vulnerable at the moment. Very vulnerable at the moment to the predators that are attracted here by the rabbits. So in this area here, there are some little penguins molting. And of course they can't escape because they're not waterproof. And so we set a trap and the best way to catch a stoat is to use a dead stoat. You can't catch the predators around here with food because they're not hungry. There's so many rabbits. So you catch them? By, it stinks too, doesn't it? Yeah, by leaving the dead ones by the trap and that attracts the live ones. Why is that? Because... Um, they're self-obsessed? Yeah, they're self-obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, they're really destructive, aren't they? They are really destructive. And once you get to plague proportions, the destruction happens in front of your eyes. So there's another one. We've got to the point where rabbits are ring barking mature trees. They climb trees and eat the leaves and they are modifying their environment to suit themselves. And what's gonna happen if we don't do something in your opinion? Okay, well, this historic site will collapse. The predators will start wiping out our native species. So the only birds that are going to survive are going to be blackback gulls. The kiwis, the, the tuis, all of our native species will be gone. And they will have been wiped out by predators that are sustained by the plague of rabbits that are currently running around the place. Without the rabbits to sustain them, the predators are going to be a whole lot easier to manage. Um, it's just, they don't survive on our wildlife, there's not enough of it left. That's just the, um, the variety, that's just the, the ice cream but this, for pudding this <laughs> in their diet. The rabbits come all the way out here and when to, they'll come, go down on the beach and they eat the sea lettuce Really? So they like salt on their food as well. <laughs> and yeah, and sometimes you'll see them over on the island. What? So How do they get over to the island? They wait for low tide and they'll bop across here and they will eat the vegetation on the island. All that's left are the plants they don't like. So there's not a single blade of grass on that island. No, it's only um, the daisy that they don't eat. So they've decimated the trees on the top 
That's incredible, and isn't it? And they have, yeah, and they've destroyed every other thing as well. What a mess. Yes. Eh? Yeah, it is. It's a real mess. This is the worst damage on this green. Can't be too good for your game. I can see another rabbit here now, down the fairway. So yeah, how do they break the wire? I've got no idea, they probably just keep nibbling. Doc owns right round the waterfront, I suppose they still class it as National Park. Rabbit Park. Rabbit Park.